I'm now going to be talking about the new DuckTales Funko figures, um, a new permit being listed at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and also we we'll are be talking about Christmas in July. What's up everyone, Roger here from the Disney Kingdom Daily Show, so let's jump into some of the latest news from Thursday. So first off, we have got some great new Funko figures of DuckTales, so this set of figures are going to be coming out pretty soon. So first off, as you can see here, um, we have got um, Magician Dispel, she's going to be exclusive to GameStop coming in September. We have also got Webby, and I love the fact she's got the little um, doll in her hand, Huey, Dewey and Louie, and then Scrooge McDuck with his... Um, you can see there he's got his coin and also his cane in his hand. And then there's also going to be some little versions of uh, the pop chains coming as well, which is pretty cool. Jumping on to some other figures. Um, so let's look here at some of the new Kingdom Hearts Vinny Mates. So these are going to be coming out in... Uh, coming at this for their price at ten dollars each and as I said four dollars four inches tall we're going to have four different figures including Sora which you can see there he's kind of got his keychain we've also got Donald we also have Goofy and finally we have King Mickey now obviously we're seeing a lot more merchandise for uh, Kingdom Hearts at the moment because of the 15th anniversary and we've also got um, Kingdom Hearts 3 is on the thing we should find out a little bit more about that at the D23 Expo we do find a little bit more information over there at disgaming.com. Now, jumping over to the park stuff, um, let's now have a look here. Um, Disney have announced that there's going to be a Descendants 2. The villain kids are going to be honoured as part of the Mickey's Sensational Parade Grand Marshals at Disneyland Park. That's going to be taking place today at 4 p.m. Um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Disney Park. Um, also, if you aren't there, you're going to be able to watch it on a live stream as well. I also mentioned Christmas in July. So this is going to be running from the 15th of July through to July the 30th. And you're going to be finding a number of different holiday gifts throughout um, Disney Springs. They are also bringing in a kind of cool little item. There's going to be, I'm over at the Art of uh, Disney, there will be some inspirational art as along with um, some margaritas and stuff. But what I found was rather cool was that they're actually also going to have a meet and greet with um, Santa as well. So um, great to see them doing that. And the idea of just having a meet and greet well, for summer Santa, he'll be on hand for autographs or for sorry, photographs from 1 p.m. till 10 p.m. as part of um, the dockside margaritas. And days. it's just it's kind of a, it's just a cool thing for them to be doing. And there's also going to be a DJ is going to be spinning Christmas beats and enjoying um, Joy Your Face by celebrating holiday face painting. It's yeah, it's just cool. I and mean, the idea of doing. Christmas in July is always just kind of fun. Yeah, it's not that far away, but yeah, great to see sort of Disney getting out. But kind of the big news really for the day is um, a story that was put over on um, the Diz was apparently um, permits have been put in for a change over at the Great Movie Ride in Disney's Hollywood Studios. While the Disney has not confirmed the rumor, um, uh, there's a new permit called DHS Project M. And the permits are expirations are set to run out on October the 31st. Um, Len Tessa from the uh, from touringplans.com did actually put up that it will be apparently he's been hearing that it's going to be closing for a Mickey attraction. So this all kind of ties in with the, um, lots of different rumors going around of some big changes at the parks. Great movie ride um, has been rumored for a while. Obviously with the D23 Expo this weekend, we are expected to find out a lot more about some of the big changes coming up in the next couple of years. So whether or not this all gets confirmed, who knows? But changes to that ride have been going around for a while. Whether or not they just update it or completely strip it out and put something in, the fact it's got a different code name and the permits are now being applied does indicate something is going to be happening pretty soon. Also, if you are shopping, head over to DisneyStore.com for the next couple of days. They are doing their Disney Friends and Family promotion, so you can get 25% off your orders, and it's also going to be available at stores as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so just a quick update really on what this is. This is going to be a brand new series. I'm kind of bringing back an idea I had from a while ago about doing like a daily news video. But what I'm going to be doing as well is I'm going to be jumping off to doing stories from different sites and stuff, you know, for the big news of the day. And so hopefully you guys can get it. Also as part of that, you know, daily I'm going to be putting out a request. You know, if you've got any stories that 
you've seen, you can tweet me as well and kind of get in touch with me. And I'm also going to be looking back each day at comments from the previous episode and just kind of say if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments and stuff, I will be going through those comments at the end of each of these episodes as well. The idea as well to kind of grow our community to kind of, you know, I want to hear back from you, hear what you think of the latest Disney news. So this will be running from Monday through to Friday. I'm going to be running this kind of as a trial for the next two months. That's the plan. The next two months going to be running this one. It's going to be available on, on audio platforms. I'm um, just going to obviously get a couple of them up before I can submit them to like iTunes and stuff as a brand new feed. I'm going to be continuing to do the Disney Kingdom podcast and um, with Victoria where we kind of, we're going to go a little bit more in depth on discussions and doing things like this and kind of doing the news in this video. And also we have our Infinity and Beyond podcast as well where I, be, where I talk to James about video game stuff. You'll find that on our other video games um, channel. And over at Diz Gaming, I'll also probably be putting this um, episode up on Facebook as well. So there we go. So that's, um, whether or not we go down the line of doing live versions, I do not know yet. But uh, what I want to do is give, give this a good solid go for two months straight and see how we get on with it and see how you guys respond to it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As I said, hit that subscribe button. You can also check us out over at DizKingdom.com. Laters.